NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. More mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. In the vast expanse of the cosmos where mystery and wonder collide, our eye in the sky, the James Webb Telescope, has just unleashed a cosmic bombshell. The JWST's alert system recently picked up something downright bizarre, a structure in the depths of space that defies explanation. Is it an ancient alien artifact? A celestial phenomenon yet to be understood by science? Or could it be the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe? Join us on this journey as we uncover the riveting tale of the James Webb Space Telescope's alert system and its astonishing discovery. In a cosmic Christmas miracle in 2021, NASA unwrapped their gift to the universe, Webb, a high-tech space peeper that had been in the making for decades. The brainiacs at NASA worked their socks off to make it happen. On Christmas Day, Webb shot up into space, and people at NASA couldn't have been happier. The following months were like a symphony of success. Webb floated into space like a graceful dancer, and by mid-July, it treated us to a visual feast, stunning snapshots that left us all eager. This isn't just any telescope, especially when it comes to seeing things clearly in the universe. Webb doesn't just stop at the nearby stars, it peeks into the most remote corners of the cosmic neighborhood. It's like a time traveler, letting us take a sneak peek into the universe's past. The science folks who got their hands on Webb were practically doing cartwheels. Within days of this telescope coming online in late June 2022, they were throwing confetti. Thousands of new galaxies showed up in their cosmic address book, and some of them might be older than our great-great-grandma. Webb, with a spotlight, sucks in all the light from space goodies, helping scientists figure out what they're made of and how they groove in the vastness of space. Webb didn't stop there. It played the ultimate matchmaker, revealing the dating profiles of exoplanets and giving us a clue about whether they're cozy enough for life to kick back. The JWST, instead of using regular light, snoops around in the infrared part of the spectrum, the kind of rays that make thermal cameras hot and bothered. When the first batch of pictures dropped, it was like unlocking a celestial photo album. Massive scenes of dust and gas, galaxies doing a celestial tango, and stars on their last cosmic dance. Webb's not just making waves in the scientific community, it's making a splash. The Science Journal crowned it the breakthrough of 2022, and Jane Rigby, the brains behind Webb's operations, earned a spot on Nature's list of Science Story Shapers 2022. Just last December, it pulled off something everyone thought was impossible. It caught a glimpse of the oldest galaxies ever, the real granddaddies of the cosmos, over 13 billion years old. These galaxies are so ancient that they date back to when the universe was just a baby. The telescope's near-infrared spectrograph did some serious detective work, confirming their age by checking out their redshift. According to Brant Robertson, an astrophysics guru from the University of California, Santa Cruz, finding these galaxies is like stumbling upon a cosmic gold mine. They're way beyond what anyone dreamt of spotting before Webb stepped into the scene. Webb is basically ushering in a new era of cosmic exploration. It's letting us peek at these crazy distant and super ancient things in the universe. Like nothing before, the telescope helps us confirm that those far-off galaxies are just as ancient and distant as they seem. It's like taking a step toward solving the universe's big mystery. Imagine planets doing their thing thousands of light years away from us. That's what the JWST is all about, diving into the world of exoplanets. There are more than 5,000 of these known exoplanets, and scientists have been peeking at them indirectly, using the light from the stars they orbit. But until recently, getting a direct look at these faraway planets was like trying to catch a shooting star. Last September, though, the JWST snapped a picture of an exoplanet named HIP 65426b. This gas giant hangs out a hundred times farther from its star than we do from the Sun, and it's a whopping 12 times bigger than Jupiter. It's like the rock star of exoplanets. With tech like coronagraphs and two of the telescope's cameras armed with fancy filters, scientists could finally check out this distant planet's atmosphere and make it up close and personal. The big moment is like opening a new chapter in our exploration of exoplanets, giving us a chance to finally lay eyes on these distant worlds. 
The Trappist One Star might not be the heavyweight champ like our sun, but it's got its own charm with a bunch of planets doing a cosmic dance around it. This cosmic hotspot is just 39 light years away, and it made its debut on our radar back in 2016. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope gave it a nod of approval, and now the JWST is taking the spotlight for some close-up action. It's like the fun-sized version, only about a tenth of the sun's weight, but with a size that's a spitting image of Jupiter. What really turns heads, though, are the planets doing their thing around TRAPPIST-1. They're like Earth's cool cousins, all rocky and maybe packing a bit more moisture. In 2021, a mind-blowing study spilled the cosmic beans on some otherworldly planets. They're not our run-of-the-mill rocky spheres, less dense than our familiar neighbors. Four out of seven planets are chilling in the habitable zone of their star. It's like the ultimate galactic sweet spot, where the temperatures are just right for liquid water to throw a party. These planets are basically sunbathing way closer to their star than Mercury does to ours. TRAPPIST-1 might not be as dazzling as our sun, but it's got game-changing vibes for its planetary crew. TRAPPIST-1b, the closest planet, it zooms around its star every 1.9 days. Meanwhile, TRAPPIST-1h, the farthest planet, has a year that's fashionably short, just 19 days. These planets are likely doing the celestial tango, showing only one face to their star. It's like the ultimate one-sided relationship, just like how the moon vibes with Earth. It's not a deal-breaker because the TRAPPIST-1 system is a hot shot on the radar for the James Webb Space Telescope. Even though scientists have delved deep into the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system, there's a sense of lingering mystery waiting to be unraveled. It stands out as a unique cosmic neighborhood, vastly different from our familiar solar system. Imagining the uncharted realms of these far-off worlds adds an extra layer of intrigue. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its vigilant watch over TRAPPIST-1, there's a sense of anticipation. What secrets might it reveal about these distant planets that have eluded our understanding so far? The JWST, armed with its advanced Nyerspec sensor, is on a mission to decode the atmospheres of these seven rocky exoplanets. The JWST uses its high-tech tools to sniff out the gases surrounding these alien worlds. Methane, carbon dioxide, and oxygen become the breadcrumbs that might lead us to clues about surface life and unveil the atmospheric makeup of these celestial bodies. It's like a space detective story unfolding in the vastness of the cosmos. NASA drops a bombshell, conclusive evidence of carbon dioxide detected in the atmosphere of an exoplanet beyond our solar system. This revelation isn't just a scientific tidbit. It's a breakthrough that could revolutionize our understanding of smaller planets. Suddenly, these distant rocks in space become windows into the secrets of their birth and composition. As the JWST peels back the layers of cosmic mystery, we find ourselves on the brink of discovery. The little details, gases in the air, the breath of potential life, the whispers of planetary origins. The James Webb Space Telescope recently embarked on its first mission to explore distant planets, and it struck gold with the discovery of WASP-39b. This sizzling hot gas giant dances around a star situated a whopping 700 light years away, hanging out in the Virgo constellation like it's the coolest spot in the universe. Imagine a planet with a calendar more packed than ours. WASP-39b completes an orbit in just four Earth days. It's practically giving its star a friendly hug, cruising at a distance less than 1 20th of the space between us and the Sun. WASP-39b made its debut on the celestial stage back in 2011, but it's a bit camera shy. The cosmic paparazzi, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope, took their shots. Hubble went for the optical glamour, while Spitzer opted for infrared allure. In terms of planetary poshness, WASP-39b is like the rock star of gas giants. It's got the mass of Saturn but struts around with more swagger, boasting a size even Jupiter would envy. Water vapor is the cool mist that keeps it refreshed, and there's a sprinkle of sodium and potassium to spice up its atmospheric recipe. It's like the ultimate space cocktail, and we're just getting a taste of its interstellar flavors. However, only the Webb telescope managed to catch a whiff of carbon dioxide. No one has ever spotted a trace of that stuff on an exoplanet before. Still, the brainiacs reckon finding carbon dioxide on an exoplanet is like getting a backstage pass to the planet's life story, how it came to be and what it's been up to. It's like the VIP section of exoplanet research. 
This discovery is a game changer for understanding exoplanet atmospheres. Carbon dioxide tells the secret of where a planet came from and how it grew up. It's like a cosmic fingerprint, telling us all about the carbon and oxygen hanging out in the atmosphere. Those readings spill secrets about the planet's childhood home and how much gas and solid stuff it picked up during its journey to where it is now. The Webb Telescope's secret weapon in this cosmic detective work is the NERSPEC gadget. It's like a super-sensitive light detector that breaks down incoming light into cool spectra, showing how the object guzzles up the light. These researchers are playing Cosmic Sherlock. They're comparing the star's regular light with the light that slips through the exoplanet's atmosphere when it does its little peekaboo in front of the star. People in the know are saying that the Webb Telescope is on the lookout for carbon dioxide in the atmospheres of planets all over the place, especially those rocky ones that remind us of home. This year, the James Webb Space Telescope started things off with a bang by uncovering yet another exoplanet. The telescope wowed us with mind-blowing snapshots of space, capturing everything from stars being born and dying to galaxies doing their cosmic dance. LHS 475b, the freshest exoplanet on the block. It's almost Earth's twin, sizing up at a whopping 99% of our planet's diameter. Exoplanets are like the intergalactic nomads. The whole concept of exoplanets has been floating around for ages, but we only got our first real glimpse into their world back in the 1990s. Back in 1992, a pair of stargazers stumbled upon a pulsar. This stellar show-off was kicking it 2,000 light years away. Fast forward three years, two science buffs uncovered the first exoplanet tagging along 51 Pegasi b, a star that was like our sun's long-lost sibling. A toasty gas-packed giant snuggling up even closer to its star than Mercury gets cozy with the sun. NASA's got a hunch that for every star winking at us from the night sky, there's probably a sidekick exoplanet. We've got over 5,000 of these cosmic wanderers on our radar now. Proxima Centauri b, doing loops around the red dwarf about 4.25 light years away. To put that in perspective, one light year is like saying see ya to roughly 9.46 trillion kilometers. Scientists didn't just kick back and wait for these exoplanets to introduce themselves. They've been on the cosmic hunt using all sorts of tricks with telescopes, both on the ground and in space. They're like a mixed bag of surprises, different sizes, masses, and compositions, and they roll in all sorts of planetary system setups. Some exoplanets are like rocky buddies, resembling Venus or Earth, while others are gas-heavy like the big shots Saturn or Jupiter. Some of them might be as light and fluffy as styrofoam, or covered in a sizzling sea of lava. They're like the cool remixes of our solar system planets, with extra water or carbon vibes. Studying these exoplanets is like spying on a space soap opera, learning about their birth, glow-up, and the potential for alien neighbors. It helps us crack the code of our own solar system. Turns out, some exoplanets partied far from home and then crashed closer to their star crib. The hot new exoplanet discovered by the JWIST, the LHS 475b. This rocky star is like our solar system's cousin, chilling in the Octan constellation, just 41 light years down the cosmic block from us. Tess gave a little wink, suggesting a new planet might be in town, and JWST confirmed it. The telescope tells the secret that this newfound world is Earth's size, but the jury's still out on the whole atmosphere deal. Scientists, using the telescope's special powers, eliminated some atmospheres from the suspect list. They're kind of suspecting a carbon dioxide-only vibe, but it's not confirmed. This planet is turning up the heat, like a few hundred degrees hotter than our average Earth day. If clouds decide to join the party in future investigations, it could mean this place is more Venus than Earth always rocking those thick cloud layers. The Webb Telescope just dropped a mind blower, showing us the tip of the alien atmosphere iceberg. As JWSCT narrows its gaze onto exoplanets with atmospheres that are basically rock vapor and crystal dreams, astronomers are crossing their fingers for some serious cloudy vibes. These wild atmospheres of hot Jupiter's gigantic gas planets snuggled up close to their stars were scorching temperatures like a blazing oven at 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit, sizzle away rocks, minerals, and metals into a misty haze. It's like a celestial barbecue, roasting precious gems into vapor. Gems that, on Earth, we treasure. On these far-off planets, these vaporized gems aren't just disappearing into thin air. They're actually forming clouds, clouds made of sparkly minerals, 
Eagle-eyed scientists have spotted these extraterrestrial gem clouds. They even played cosmic detectives with their telescopes, like the very large telescope in Chile, to catch the signatures of these minerals. In 2017, they nailed down titanium oxide doing its thing in the atmosphere of the hot Jupiter Wasp 19b. Fast forward three years and BAM! Iron vapor showed up on the scene, partying on the day side of Wasp 76b. These hot Jupiters are kinda like celestial disco balls, but with a twist, they're always facing the music, or in this case, their stars. One side's always toasty, reaching a blistering 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit on Wasp 76b, while the other side's catching a cooler 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit breeze. Surprisingly, these metals and substances, once seen floating around distant exoplanets, are now being examined in their cloud form, giving us a unique peek into the mysterious worlds beyond. Recently, JWST caught a glimpse of water clouds in the atmosphere of WASP-96b, challenging previous beliefs. This discovery is just the teaser for the fascinating revelations awaiting us. JDUIPBUC's unravel the atmospheric mysteries of Super-Earth 55 Cancri E, a behemoth eight times more massive than our familiar abode. JWST aims to find out, adding another thrilling chapter to our cosmic exploration. The telescope is on a mission to explore the TRAPPIST-1 system, checking out all seven planets to see if they've got an atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1e is stealing the spotlight because it's basically Earth's twin, and astronomers are crossing their fingers for signs of life-friendly conditions in its air, especially in the clouds. Clouds aren't just mood setters for Earth. They're big players in the whole temperature and climate game. Surprisingly, they might be pulling similar stunts on other planets too. By cracking the cloud code on Earth and our planetary pals, we're getting the inside scoop on how things work in weirder spaces. The James Webb Space Telescope is sniffing out secrets from far-off lands and uncovering the mysteries of potential life out there. It's not just about TRAPPIST-1, it's stumbled upon something else mind-blowing in the cosmic playground. VHS-1256b, the cosmic oddball that's not quite a planet, not quite a star. It's this big dude emitting a chill, reddish glow, chilling out in the space neighborhood. What makes it even more peculiar? It's got these sandy clouds made of silicate, something we don't usually see in brown dwarfs. Webb's eagle eyes spotted some cool details in its atmosphere, peeking into a mysterious mix of water, methane, carbon dioxide, and potassium. This space science is so fresh, it hasn't hit the journals yet. It's like a sneak peek into the secret lives of exoplanet atmospheres. We're learning how they groove and evolve, all thanks to this funky cosmic anomaly. Let's steer our gaze away from exoplanets for a moment and zoom into the southern ring nebula. They pegged it as a fading star, a white dwarf, shedding its outer layers in a luminous display of energy waves. The James Webb Space Telescope, armed with its near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument, unfolded a far more captivating narrative. The white dwarf isn't playing hide-and-seek. It's cloaked in a mist of chilled gas. This gas didn't just appear out of thin air. Scientists suspect it's a gift from a clandestine third star tucked away within the nebula. Meanwhile, the telescope also snags some stunning shells hugging the nebula's borders, reminiscent of those encircling WR-140. Possibly a third star pulling cosmic strings between the two we already knew about. This amazing find shakes up what scientists thought they knew about the Southern Ring Nebula. This telescope is equipped with super tools that let it dig deep into the universe's secrets. It's not planning to stop anytime soon. This space detective with its high-tech gear spots things like carbon dioxide hanging out in exoplanet atmospheres. It's like finding hidden treasures in the vastness of space. Plus, it's spotting weird stuff we didn't even know existed out there. These jaw-dropping discoveries aren't just random. They're pushing our space knowledge to places we never dreamed of. The James Webb Space Telescope is on a mission, scanning the skies and making us scratch our heads in awe. What else is it going to find? The anticipation is killing us. Webb, show us what else is hiding in the cosmic playground. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.